think we're going. I hope we're going. Do you like my t-shirt? <laughs> when it's, I'll show you the pool thing. Hopefully you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's so beautiful. I love it. Uh, that's not the point of this. I'm just going to dive right in and I'm also going to assume that if you are watching this that you've already read the previous issue and or all the other issues or something like that. So I'm just going to assume that you already know what has happened in the previous issue just to save on time so I don't have to go through all that again. Um, also, I feel like I don't need to say it. Obviously going to be like a spoiler-ish video. Issue 141. Now, the cover alone of this issue was enough to make me fall over dead. If you know anything about me, you probably know why. Uh, it starts off with Rick and Heath coming back from a supply run, um, and then an arrow shoots through the air. Lo and behold, it is Dwight in all his two-faced glory. Harvey Dent uh, has come to pick up supplies, him and the saviors, because um, they are still giving them supplies. And But he pulls Rick aside and talks to him and says, you know, I don't like being the leader. I, it's not... it's not what I thought and it's it's a lot more difficult and I don't like it and then he asks Rick if he will name a new leader for the saviors. Obviously the previous leader <laughs> is locked up in jail. Someone had to take over. Dwight did. And but he doesn't want to do it anymore. So he asks Rick to assign a new leader and Rick's like, no, uh that's not my job. <laughs> he gives this like inspirational leader speech to Dwight and then he's on his merry way with however half of the supplies or their their portion of the supplies and they leave. Immediately he is like bashing them but I mean who wouldn't if they did what they did to you you know of course I don't blame them for that. They're not good people. <laughs> And then we see Rick go to Andrea, do the little kissy thing, and then they are reading, they're talking about stuff, asking how things are going, about the fair and whatnot, because there's fairs in the apocalypse. <laughs> Just when you think, it would never happen. They're kind of talking about that, and then he goes to check on Negan. So he goes down into the little jail basement thing, and once he gets down there, Negan is laid back with his feet up with the door wide open and Rick of course has an aneurysm. You know, to start off Negan's like doing what he always does, you know, saying, making his mean jokes, calling Rick a grandpa, which Rick really, it has not gone well for him. It, the apocalypse has been bad for Rick Grimes. And then he starts saying all the stuff about trust, you know, I stayed in here, I did not leave even though I could have and wreak havoc. You know, I stayed in the cell, give me credit where credit's due, you know, that all that stuff that Negan does. And then, I, when I first saw the cover, I thought that Negan was going to get out. He doesn't. Uh, Rick just slams that door and is like, nope, I don't trust you and I never will, and all this stuff, and he locks him back up. And then as Rick is leaving, he's, you know, Negan's spewing that stuff again. But I do think that there's a bit of truth to what Negan says, like there always is. Um, but he basically says, you know, you don't keep me locked up in here because you didn't want to kill me. You do it because I'm the one person, you know, alive that makes you look like a good person. When Rick was down there before him, before he starts to leave, he spews all this stuff about how, you know, Rick has done whatever he needed to do to protect his people. Why does, why should Negan be labeled a bad person for doing the same thing and there's like you know when you when you put it like that you kind of think oh well he's kind of it's kind of right i like to think of negan and rick as like the joker and batman Th that relationship that's how i see those two but rick just kind of ignores i don't think that he can really ignore it i think that negan really does get under his skin i think that the things that negan was saying really gets under his skin uh so then he goes and Rosita and Eugene are having a baby. <laughs> Yay! You know, but good for them, Rosita and Eugene. I love those two, and 
it's weird that they're together though. I feel like, I don't know. And Rip goes over to find Olivia and to give her a talking to because she's the one who left the door unlocked. Kind of like lays into her and is like, listen, you know, you could have killed all these people and it's your fault and nobody else's and you know Olivia, you know, she starts to cry and he's like, you know, go home before you make a scene, get out of here. So she leaves and she's all sad. You know, and then him and Andrea talk about it later on once they get home and they're going back and forth again. Andrea's all, why don't we just kill him, you know, and talking about Negan, you know, why are we, why is he still alive? Why do we have to keep him here? And then Rick's doing the same old, same old, I can't do it, you know, I'm trying to be a good person, trying to, we're trying to be civilized people, which I think is, you know, kind of what he wants for Alexandria and what he wants for those people. He, you know, he doesn't, there's a giant spotter on my ceiling. Oh my god. So anyway, um, they talk about it and he just kind of like shuts her down and is like, let's not do it. Um, and then at the very end, of course, clearly Maggie has come to her decision about her dilemma and what to do. Uh, Gregory is hung by the neck until dead and that's how this issue ends. Overall, I think it was it's really good and there was a lot of people in it, just Negan specifically. I was really happy to see. I was really happy to see Dwight and the Saviors again and kind of see what they're into and what's going on. And, you know, Rick, once again, being the Rick Tater, taking care of business. I thought it was a great issue and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next one. This spider is still here and it's coming closer to me. Anyway, um, that's that's it, generally. That's what happened. I will give it a, like, out of a 10, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8 out of a 10 rating. It was awesome. It was filled with Negan, and I love it. That's going to be it for this. I will be back soon. Um, and I'm going to start doing these, these comic reviews. I really like this, so I'm going to start doing them. I'm going to kill the spotter once I leave, so I need to do it now. Uh, until next time, I am Officer Friendly, over and out.